welcome to Lakeshore RV. We are going to go through your unit here, kind of do a quick lowdown of everything. In the very front compartment, you have a 12 volt battery, it's hydraulic fluid for your hydraulic leveling system. Very bottom is going to be your generator. Generator here. Make sure your breakers are on. If your breakers aren't on, it's not going to kick the power to the unit. Uh, remember, your generator is only going to kick about 45 amps out to the unit. So if you use if you're gonna try to use all, of, it's not gonna power all three AC units. It will trip one of your breakers out here, so you have to come out and flip it back on and only power two. Push and hold prime for three seconds. Push and hold start for three seconds. Um, it should start. If not, repeat process. If you run out of fuel, if you run out of fuel, it'll take longer to prime. Right over to the right here, you're gonna have the switch here. That's gonna control the big LEDs on the front cap. The big white ones. Also, if you get the phone app, that will control it. The light underneath is manual. I have a little switch on the side here. To use the control panel up here that you'll be using 90% of the time, you'll push and hold up and down for three seconds. One, two, three, let off. you got a green light indicating there's power. Right now, the back jacks are up, so right now the up and down is just to control the front. Um, after you get your truck out of the way, hit auto level and then your unit is going to level out. And then when you are ready to leave your campsite, hit hitch height. That's gonna bring up your rear jacks, bring your front jacks up to the height that was right before you hit auto level. Retract all after you're locked on your truck and your kingpin is locked in, everything's hooked up, hit retract all. That's gonna bring all your jacks up at one time, the front jack, so you don't have to sit there and hold it. Right to the driver's side here. You're going to have your model, VIN, as well as your tire pressure. you are got two 30-pound LP tanks. The regulator is going to be on the passenger side. They're both full. Big pass-through here, guys. Um, also, in your pass-through, these lights are manual. Got a little button in the center. Battery disconnects on that side, as well as your water heater bypass. So, water heater bypass going to be the red nozzle there. Right below is going to be output for a cable. Access point if you need access. We'll go over more of that when we get on that side. This is going to be your input area. Four, the top four ones are going to be cable. Your water input. So the fill your unit, you're going to turn it over to the tank fill. To use the water on the unit, you're going to click dry camp and then you'll have to turn on your water pump. City fixtures, that's going to be just using the water off the water hose and the pressure off the water hose. You won't need a water pump on using that. When you're winterizing, go down to winterization. Right underneath that, it's going to be outdoor shower. Right underneath that, it's going to be input for satellite. Black tank flush here. Um, just remember, this is going to be for your front, your front tank. Underneath your front slide out, that's going to be for your the uh, main bathroom just remember be connected to the drain and your valves open before you put water to that if you got a full tank and you put water to it before you open your valves there's gonna be a mess inside you do have 120 outlet there that is another switch for your water pump and again a manual light there has a little button in the center for your front bathroom poles those are gonna be inside this compartment here Now we're going to go make our way back. Water heaters right above the axles. Exhaust, it gets extremely hot, guys. So anything above it, before you turn your furnace on, make sure you double check, make sure nothing's leaning on it. Back bathroom sewer. Um, black tank flush for the back bathroom. Your poles for the back bathroom are going to be here in your garage. Okay, now you got two inputs for fuel there. The left one is going to be the one that you're going to want for your generator. The generator is going to be powered out of the left one. The right one is going to be auxiliary nozzles here that will fill, fill uh, dirt bikes, ATVs. Your power for your fuel pump is going to be here in this compartment. 50 amp hookup, driver's side, right, left, uh, driver's side corner. Your back drops down as a patio. It also has an awning that will fold out 
Those are controlled from inside the garage. As well as this small back awning right above your garage door. Um, that's controlled from the garage too. Coming up on the passenger side, you got refrigeration. You see a little condensation dripping out here during a hot summer day. It's alright, it's just your refrigerator. Not going to cause any problems. Your refrigerator here, the mini fridge will not power up unless you hook the short power right underneath. This could be a griddle. Um, you use your access hose, you pull it right under here. You see the little tag next to your, your leg there, that's where you're going to connect that in. Coming further up on the passenger side. Outdoor speakers are controlled from the inside radio uh, and in the garage. So I'll show you how to work that. So here's your adapters, a 50 to a 30 amp. 30 to 15 amp. Just know the lower you go in amperage, the less stuff that's going to work. Here is your other 30 pound LP, LP tank. Again, your regulator. So pointed to the front, your regulator, you're going to use the tank right on the passenger side. Pointed to the rear, you're going to use the tank on the driver's side. You'll have to manually switch that. Let's go ahead and go inside your unit. So we're going to go inside as you would if it was all closed up. You're going to want to access it from the garage. Um, bringing your slide in or out, make sure those steps are up. You don't want to bring them in or out with those steps down just in case they catch up on the ground and will destroy the steps. So before moving any slides, make sure you're, you put those, those steps up. In the garage here, that this slide button's gonna control this slide as well as the one next to the TV. It's all on one. This awning is gonna be the one above your porch. This one's gonna be the one right outside this door. The bed lift control, bed lift control here, as you see the couch is flat. You'll want to pull, to bring down the bed, you'll want to pull those four little pins. There's one at each corner. Pull those pins, make sure that bed's all, or make sure the couch is all the way up because that bed will free fall if you don't have something to guide it down. It'll go about halfway and then stop and the, the couch will come down more. There, any switch inside your unit that is not labeled are lights, so these are all lights. Um, the outside lights for the big white LEDs. Zone, here's your radio. Zone, zone two here is gonna be outside speakers. Zone one is gonna be the garage speakers. Yeah, both on, both off. One on, one off. It doesn't matter. However you like to do it. Um, this bathroom here, pretty self-explanatory. Nothing to it. Got a light switch right to the right. AC heads. You're gonna have three of these throughout your unit. Throughout your unit, you just get a push. The mode button, right now it's off, it's on fan, it's on cool, it's on hot furnace. Um, and then adjust the temp up and down. That's up to you. You are prepped for a washer and dryer. Your power cord is on the floor in the garage, as well as carpet for your garage. Now we're going to come into the kitchen. Kitchen, your fridge is a propane or a short power you turn it on and right now it's on auto we are not connected to we are not connected to short power so it's going to go right to the little drop the little drops means it's propane if you have it on the drop on this side it's only using propane if you have it on the plug over here it's only going to use short power if you have it over here it's it's on auto so it'll use whatever source is there. If you don't want to use either, push and hold the power button, it's off. Two switches here above your, <clears throat> above, doo -doo -doo. two switches here, are you gonna control the LED lights and the lights up top. Vent and fan, that's gonna be right above the kitchen. The lights underneath here are all manual, underneath, all the way over. Microwave is going to be the best indicator if you at least have 30 amps. If this is lit up, you'll at least have 30 amps. Um, that is going to be the best indicator if you have short power. If that will be on. Stove top. You're going to move the nozzle right over to the little flame here. And then you're going to push and hold your igniter. Just like an outside grill. So your oven will be the same way. You'll move it over to the ignite here. And then push and it will use the igniter. You're going to push and hold. Keys are on your sink. 
pantry. You got a big pantry here. Just, just know the light switch is right to the right here. That's going to turn on your pantry light. The light switches on each slide, these are manual. You cannot turn these off with your phone or with uh, any switches from the panel. You'll have to turn them off manually here. Same with this slide out. Remember, these two slide outs are controlled from the garage. You need the steps up when you're operating this, this slide out. TV um, is it's on air antenna. You'll get all your locals channels. Underneath it is the sound bar that is Blu-ray. Just remember that's only going to play off this TV here. Your, your fireplace will not operate unless you are hooked to shore power or running your generator. Just remember you can't power a lot of stuff at the same time running off your generator. It's only 45 amps. Again we got black switches with no labels. These are lights. Wind guard connect as if you're going to get Wi-Fi in your wind guard system um, you'll turn it on yeti pack if you're going to stay anywhere that's going to get below freezing turn that on it's going to keep your tanks warm slide out bedroom slide out that's going to be just move in your bed of your slide in in your bedroom awning that's going to be for your big awning the led for it is going to be right there this is going to tell you how many amps you're pulling in also right now we're not pulling any amps we're running off a 12 volt battery and then your one command system, it's above here. You'll be able to control everything as you see on here on your phone also when you get the one command app. Right to the right again is another panel for AC. This is going to be just for the, the living room. Bathroom here, pretty self-explanatory. Got a GFI breaker right to the left. Other than that, it's all pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> when you bring in the bed in, make sure it's sitting up. Um, if you're going to have it flat, the control's right to the right here. That's going to be the control to lean down your bed. As well as the LED for underneath your bed, that's going to be controlled by the switch there. That's going to turn on LEDs underneath. <clears throat> Inside your closet here, you got charging point ports. Two USBs and two 120s on each side. Your TV hookup's gonna be, you're just gonna pull out the top of this. Your TV hookup's gonna be right there to the right. And that is gonna conclude our video on your Cyclone 4006. I hope you enjoy, and we'll see you tomorrow.